This is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz, and we are joined today by Jesse Urquidy. He is the board president of the Norwalk La Mirada School District. And so I want to speak with you about Common Core. Common Core is a system whereby education is provided in a way that the kids are going a little deeper and maybe not as many topics. Is that a fair way to say it? It's a fair way to say it. And yeah. So what are you hearing from your parents about Common Core and its adoption? Right. A lot of parents have told me that it's it's going to be a change for them on how you, they think. Because, oh, right. You know, they were taught, you know, to repeat facts, repeat facts. Now it's a little more of a resolution of, or excuse me, an analysis of how to look right. at things. A very, very quick way to, to explain please, to you please. Common Core is kids were taught a fireman wears a red helmet, a fireman wears a red helmet. Yeah. Now they're asking why does the fireman right. wear the red helmet? And what do you think of that? And if I may, you're sure. also a father of a kindergarten student. I am. So what do you I think am. of that? Um, well, for one thing, she's doing a lot of things that are not, not uh, touching on Common Core yet, but by third grade, she sure, will be doing that for the testing. Uh, Common Core in itself is adopted by, I believe, 44 states yeah, in the United you're States. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And right now, uh, a lot of professional development for our teachers, right. um, a lot of professional development. Um, for the teachers and a lot of information for the parents. And let me ask you about the teachers because we know Common Core is focused, ex not exclusively, but largely on the adoption of technology. Right. And my concern for the teachers is your kindergarten student could probably teach the teachers how to use the technology. Well, you know, I wouldn't But you get my point. Yeah, yeah. You get I, my point. I think I mean, the kids will teach the parents about the right, technology okay. more. So, but how is that going with the technology adoption? Because that can yeah. be a challenge. The technology adoption for Common Core, the largest part of it, and with new assessments that the state of California right. has put in place, a lot of it comes in with uh, the testing. Right. That's the biggest component right now. And is Norwalk La Mirada ready? You know, we had the field test for the Smarter Balance test Correct. last year. Right. We're not sure what's going to happen this year. It's still up in the air, but are you all ready for it? I believe we are. You I got believe the, we are. your yes. iPads I, or your whatever you may need. Yeah, your we, we did a different one-on-one uh, -on -one iPad in some of our okay. classes. We have a very successful program in our middle schools. And right now, we're looking at just um, the amount of kids to take the test in the next e coming year. Right. One high, excuse me, one elementary school that has 800 kids, where my daughter goes. Oh, sure. They're going to start it in March. Ah. There are smaller schools that are going to start it in May. I see. So that's how right. that's working right now. I want to shift gears and talk about uh, improvement of the facilities sure. at various school districts. Sure. As we know, a lot of the school districts in our area, you know, they were built in the 50s or the 60s. and 19, so, I have a 1935 school. So you know, okay. <laughs> so And they're starting to see the end of their useful right. lives, at least right. the buildings. And right. so your voters in November, very generous, yes. passed the facilities bond, $375 million, needed 55%, got 58. Mm -hmm. You did it. You mm -hmm. did it. So talk to us about what's going to happen. Right now, I want to first of all thank the voters of uh, Norwalk yes. Lumber Unified for, for helping us out with uh, passing that bond. And our, our associations were on board. Now, what we're going to do, we're in the middle of prioritizing a lot sure. of the projects. Uh, for one of that, a big large component of that is technology, the technology right. backbone for Wi-Fi that will help the testing, uh, uh, athletic facilities, as well as uh, air conditioning. We have air conditioning in our classrooms, but we don't have air conditioning in our offices or our NPR rooms. Oh my. Yes. Yeah, Those so, poor administrators. Oh uh, no, right. the secretaries. Oh, are the, the secretaries, ones. Yes, even the administrators yeah, as well. Right, so, okay. And I know a lot of them and they've they've yeah. given me their feedback. And it can get hot in Norwalk La Oh, yes, it can, I mean you're yeah. little inland, so yeah. it can get pretty hot. Get pretty when hot. can we expect to see groundbreaking for some of these projects? Probably in my opinion, my estimation, right. probably I would say uh, by the fall of this year because we, the first series of bonds will be sold in June. It's got to be very exciting. Yes. Are we going to see more, uh, any new buildings, for example, any buildings taken down and new ones put up, or is this more improvement as opposed More improvements, to more improvements. There might be a few capital projects right. where we're going to ground break and right. you see something built up. Sure. But at the end of the day, we're looking at a lot of internal improvements. Okay, I want to yeah. thank you for joining us. His thank name so is Jesse Urquidy. He is the board president of the Norwalk Logmarada Unified School District. My name is Brad Palmer. Thanks so much for watching us on Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.